Put it on a ATC card. I'll show you something else I made yesterday with one of my backdrop papers that I did a long time ago that I did on the um, like I did this last one I put it on um, contact paper and my end frame I put it on contact paper and, and glued glued it and then I did artwork on it doodled on it like this and um, I made a little journal with it I cut it I have enough to make another little one. And then my nib's getting black. Oops. So I want some more paint to come down. clean that nib off a little bit. This wasn't quite dry. This one I stuck my fingers hand in is still not dry. It takes a long time for this ink to dry. I should know better. But I want to show you. So anyway, I have some other cute stamps. You know me, I have a lot of stamps. But I saw Cat Hen using these stamps, these very same ones, and they were so cool on her page that now see how they're blending in, they're not staying really white. That's what I was afraid of with these glass markers. That's what happens with them when you use them to doodle with. They don't stay white white. Now if they were on glass or on plastic, like if I would do it on this, plastic, see it would stay that white. But when you do it on paper, they kind of fade into the paper. And my ink was not dry. And it's all over me. And it got all over my table. Because I turned that upside down on my thingy, my jugger. If I get it off really quick. But I cleaned this off with Ajax and awesome. You guys don't know about awesome? 
You get awesome at the Family Dollar Store. And it is the best cleaner ever around. It cleans everything. Everything. I love it. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side and I'll show you this little journal I made out of drop paper. See? And this is just a hairband. And I put all of my and it's connected because I used rubber bands. Now I'll show you the rubber bands that I found. And these are called, hang on, I hope I don't have to move the boom arm. Oh, where did they go? Hang on. Hang on. I think they're right over here. see them. Where did I do with them? I just had them yesterday. Anyway, they are called file rubber bands. And they are bigger. Oh gosh, I wish I could find them for you. Anyway, here, this is the size of the journal that she put these stickers all over. And made a cover for them. Um, these little ones that you get. This is what Cat Hand did with these these stickers. She made, yeah, and they were cool. Oh gosh! But anyway, they're called file rubber bands, and they're they're thick and they're big. They're bigger than a regular rubber band. So I just bound my my pages in here with them. And then I can remove them. Or whatever. See? I had different sizes of paper left over. I just put in here. And it has room to grow. Like Shannon Greens, you know. It has room to grow. And then I just flipped it over made it like that and then this is a hairband and I just tied it into the rubber bands and it just flips around and that's my closure yeah and that's my little journal for what I don't know I just like to make these things I may never use it it just may be sitting around but see how I stamped on it I stamped on it and um, I didn't doodle on it. I didn't doodle around, but I made circles with my art writers. And no, I didn't. I, I'm with my circle makers and paint. And then these were stamps that I made that were just stamped out. That's probably what I'm going to use on some of these pages. And, um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do with that other one, except for that other one got stamped with uh, this other stamps, and so I want to, I want to doodle on them and, um, see if, if I can make it a little bit different. Now, this is not even. I don't make things even. It's just a journal. It's just a junky journal or whatever I want to put in it, or it might be going to somebody for um I don't know <coughs> a giveaway maybe <coughs> excuse me let me get a drink I may have it in a giveaway oh here they are sitting right here by my paints They're called Advantage File Bands. And you get a package of them like this. And they're like this big. See? And so they don't scrunch up your... Um, you can use them to, for binding. 
Dee Dee Willingham does a lot of binding with, she doesn't sew, so she does a lot of her journal bindings with elastics. So Dee Dee, if you're watching, get you some, I got these at um, Walmart. Get you some file bands, rubber bands, because they're big, and you get a lot in a package. I bought two packages. That's just the way I roll. They're seven, seven by one fourth inch. So they're seven inches long and they're one fourth inch thick. Yeah. This is a fourth of pound, 113 grams. But anyway, thought I'd show you that. Thought I'd show you the journal I made out of that uh, paper that we. I glued together a long time ago. A long time ago I made this. So, and see, these are the coffee filters that you put down first that I was talking to you about. This I learned how to do from Eileen McKinney's. To put the coffee filters down first, and that makes it pretty on the inside. Yeah. So, anyway, a journal. I made a journal. And that's probably what I'm going to do with the other one. But it's not really what I make out of it or what I do with it. It's because I enjoy just doing it. And it might just sit up on my top of my shelves and do nothing. But at least I I did something. I, I made a project. That's how I see it. So, okay, that's all I have for today. And we'll see you on the next video. Thumbs up, share, comment, and all that other stuff. Subscribe. Alright, bye-bye guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye.